Hey guys, so today I want to talk about MOZ and AHRFs and their two metrics DA and DR. You'll often hear these metrics being talked about when talking about the competition of a website. So a website with a high DA or a high DR is very high competition and a website with low DA or low DR is very low competition. So you'll often, when your website just starts out, MOZ and AHRFs would both consider your website to be at zero DA or DR. Now the two metrics are Metrics that are made up by Moz and Ahrefs, Google never made these metrics themselves, but these metrics are designed to reverse engineer the Google algorithm and decide which website uh, sitting on a spectrum from 0 to 100, where that website sits in the eyes of Google in terms of its authority. Would Google see this as a very high authority website that will rank well or a low authority website that won't rank well? There's a lot of metrics that go into DA and DR, but backlinks is one of the major metrics because according to Moz and Ahrefs, the Google algorithm still weights uh, backlinks very highly in the algorithm and it always will. Backlinks is the reason why Google uh, ended up being the dominant uh, search engine in the world as opposed to Yahoo or Dogpile or any of those ones back in the early 2000s. The reason that Google serves up really good results is because it uses backlinks in its algorithm. That's never going to change. But everyone always told me that, that Moz has the DA Moz metric is not as good as the Ahrefs DR metric. So I thought, look, I'm going to compare the two of them because I own Ahrefs and I've got the, the Moz bar to tell me how many are the DR and DA of all of the websites. So I'm going to compare them and say, well, how similar are DA and DR? And uh, how good are the Moz and Ahrefs crawlers at finding backlinks pointing to a website? So I'm just comparing the two of them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at 11 sites and I'm going to look, type in random keywords uh, and look at the second ranked uh, thing on Google, the second ranked page on Google for 11 different keywords and just write down the, the DA, the DR and the amount of backlinks that each of the crawlers found to see which one of these crawlers found more backlinks and to see whether or not DA, DR and DA, DA are comparable uh, metrics. So when someone says DR, can you just supplement it for DA, for example? So let's get started. The first one is how to ride a bicycle. You can see I've got my Ahrefs and my Moz uh, Chrome extensions installed. Uh, the only reason I, you can get uh, the Ahrefs what Chrome extension is if you are a uh, have an Ahrefs account. So it'll cost you a hundred bucks a month. So most people probably don't have that one, but the Moz Chrome extension is free. So you can see that DA is 93 for this one and DR according to Ahrefs is 91. So Moz's DA and Ahrefs DR metric look pretty similar for this one. We can also see that Moz found 889 links pointing to this article and uh, Ahrefs found 797. So let's put that into our chart. And you can see here, we're starting to fill out a chart just to compare the two. Next term is best skateboards of all time. So uh, Moz found 20 links and Ahrefs have found 14 backlinks. And then the DAs are 32 or the D DR is 24. So Moz had a slightly higher DA metric than um, Ahrefs DR. So let's input that one. Another one, best gifts for cats. So I'm trying to find random keywords um, I'm trying to make them as, as, as dispersed as possible. So for best gifts for cats, we've got DA of 30 and a DR of 32, so very close. Backlinks, 75 for Moz and a Ahrefs found 110. So Ahrefs found more backlinks for this one. Let's input that. Let's go through these a bit more quickly. Avalanches, safety tips, we've got DA of 70 or a DR of 75. Again, quite similar. 22 backlinks found by Moz and uh, six backlinks found by uh, Ahrefs. Let's input that. Steps to take to winterize your RV. Uh, we can see uh, DA was a little bit lower than DR for that one and Moz found less backlinks and Ahrefs found more. How to hike the Camino de Santiago. We've got DA of 84 or a DA of 86. Again, they're very close. 81 backlinks found by Moz and uh, 54 found by Ahrefs. So Moz won that one. Let's input it into our chart, move on to the next one. 10 tips for helping babies to learn to roll. We've got 20 backlinks from Ahrefs, 36 from Moz, DA of 49 or a DR of 54. Hopefully you're starting to see some patterns here. I'll talk about the patterns at the end. So we've got a DA of 11 for this one, Medellin Best Neighborhoods Guide, DA of 11 or DR of three. 
Uh, and zero links found by both of these ones. So enter that one. Great Mountain Adventure. Tips for this beautiful something. This is a snowboarding game that I play on my phone while watching TV at the night time. Um, and it's just tips on how to play the game. So DA of 78, DR of 77. Very close again. Uh, Mons found zero links and Aetris found seven links in their crawler. Donkey Care in Winter. How to look after your donkey. Uh, DA of 60, DR of 72. So DA was a little bit lower here. And uh, nine links found by both of the crawlers. All right, we've got any more. Yep, one more. How rare is my car? We've got DA of 18 or DR of 27. Five links found by Moz, one link found by Ahrefs. So let's get to the interesting thing, which is the analysis. So some things that I found out. I should say this is incredibly unscientific. It's only 11 uh, samples. So it's probably not going to be uh, representative enough, but it's, it's good to... Um, just have a little bit of a play with it and see what comes up. DR and DA were regularly within five points of each other. So I looked at 11 different sites and uh, 11 different keywords in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of 11 times, DR and DA were within five points. So very, very close together. One thing that I have noticed just searching the web is that DR tends to be lower early on in a website's life. So if, if, a website is six months old. You might have a DA of 20, but a DR of three or four. It seems like DR lags a lot. But then when a website is older and high authority, it seems that DR is higher than DA. So there seems to be this lag in DR where DR is a bit tougher on new sites and a bit easier on older, more established sites. Um, that's just my impression that I'm getting. Okay, DR and DA seem to average out to be very similar. So as I showed you in the previous slide, they, they're usually looking similar. And when I averaged it out across all these 11 different sites, uh, we've got averages of 60 versus 59. Uh, so very, very close. When someone says DA or DR, you can probably supplement them and get, get be pretty close. So if someone says, oh, my DR is 60. You can probably say, okay, the DA is probably around about the same. Okay, Moz found more backlinks on average, and I was really, really surprised by this because everyone says the Moz crawler is way worse than Ahrefs crawler. But on this, as I said, it's, it's probably very unscientific, only looking at 11 samples, but Moz found on average 24 backlinks per page, and Ahrefs found on average 18 backlinks per page. So in this little case study, Moz found more backlinks than Ahrefs, and I was very shocked by that. And then one way of explaining this is if, if you highlight every time Moz found more or as many backlinks as Ahrefs, so it was either as good as or better than Ahrefs, eight out of 11 times it won in this little, this little case study of 11 different sites. So Moz really held its own. And, you know, I was really surprised by that. I thought that it was going to be absolutely blown out of the water by Ahrefs because everyone says Ahrefs has the better crawler. But in this little case study, that wasn't the case. Moz did well. So very unscientific takeaways. Moz appears to be competitive with Ahrefs. DA and DR are very close to one another. And just one last time, this little study is just very unscientific, but it gives you a couple of things to think about. One thing to think about is when someone says DR, you can pretty much say DA is gonna be around about the same. And yeah, Moz is pretty decent. So yeah, very surprised by that. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in uh, the next video whenever it comes out and leave me a comment below if you have any questions about this.